I would hate this to be a water slash flying Pokemon. It appears as though it is. That was a lot of damage, though. Aeroblast. Is that going to KO Night Night? I hope not. Ugh. I don't like that. Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy Michael here with the playthroughs for you, bringing you episode number 10 of our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke. And, uh, you know, I gotta say, last episode was absolutely insane. So, we are actually going to be doing something that um, is a little scary for where we are. So, we're gonna be making our way to the SSN. And you may be asking why. Well, we've got two heals in Vermilion City. That's it. However, there is a little place we can heal on the boat, if I remember correctly. Um, I might not be remembering correctly, but I believe that there is. So, <clears throat> we are allowed to use the healing items, uh, of course, that we get, but we haven't really gotten any. But if there is a room that we can heal in, it counts as a Pokemon Center. And uh, we can use that three times. But I don't think that there is, now that I'm looking at these beds. There is not. So, looks like I did not remember correctly. So, we have to make it through the entire SSN and our rival fight. And uh, we're pretty underleveled, considering where we need to be. I'm going to go for Sky Uppercut here. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Super effective, so that's actually real nice. Ah, uh, we didn't get the KO, though. Rock Tomb's not really going to do that much damage, hopefully. All right, it's not very effective. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, you don't know what a hardcore Iron Man randomized Nuzlocke is, go ahead and check out the description down below. It is an insanely difficult way uh, to play through a Nuzlocke, making it almost impossible. However, we have managed to come away a couple of times with the victory. Okay, so this is a Salamance, and this is actually really scary. Doesn't matter what type this Pokemon really is, I really hope this thing lands. This move is so good. Okay, we're going to go for Crush Claw, because it's normally the only thing that resists it, uh, or not resists it, but... Uh, actually, I think we're better off using the Faint Attack here. I was going to use Crush Claw, because... The only thing that is immune to it is ghost type. Salamence woke up. Mega. Why does it have to be bug? Why does it have to be bug type? You're you're having a laugh here, right? You're you're absolutely having a laugh, right? This is bad for us. This is really bad for us. I don't want to switch it and take more damage. Do we have to? Do we go for the thing here? Oh, we have to. Do we hit? We don't. Rock throw. Okay. Sing again, please. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> Megahorn is a killer, and I feel like every Pokemon has had it. It's absolutely insane. Alright, we are going to go for Crush Claw here. Of course, it's not very effective. Hopefully, Salamence doesn't wake up. Does this have Insomnia? What does this Pokemon have? This is absolutely insane. Um, okay, thank goodness no heal there. No heal. Well, that kind of sucks. So basically, Donkey Kong is out of commission. And since our main motto here is to fight every trainer we have, we basically have Shell Shock and um, our beautiful Melodic to do it. So while we did catch a legendary last episode, it doesn't really help us out that much because it is level five. Let's see. Is this our room? Is this our room? Oh my gosh. I was correct. Okay. So we do have three heals here, which is nice. Thank goodness. All right. Man, I was starting to sweat some bullets here. I was like, oh, this might be impossible. The only reason <laughs> why in Season 1 we did so well is because our starter was a Rhydon. And, of course, you know, spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it. That run was absolutely amazing. And uh, there's no heal on the SSN in Generation 1, but... We were lucky enough to get a couple drinks, so we were able to sneak our way in to uh, Saffron City. So we are actually able to utilize those heals there, which was really nice. I don't think we actually ever had to, if I remember correctly. Is this a Psychic type? It is. Our wax Special Attack's not very good, though, so we should be okay. 
We are going to do the switcheroo here. Shellshock's level 21. I'm feeling confident. Especially since War Turtle is normally a defensive type Pokemon. It's funny that a move that is supposed to make our accuracy go down misses. Earthquake here is a exuberant amount of damage. Kinesis. Oh, yes. Okay, well, it's fine. We are going to use uh, Bone Meringue. Let's try that. Cool. Very good to use Marowak's signature move on his own self. So, cool. All right. So I'm feeling so good now that we have that heal. Oh, my gosh. We have those heals. So makes me so happy. Makes me so happy. Let's go ahead and get this item here. Paralyzing. Oh, it's not bad. We're going to snag this item here. HP UP. So we got HP ups. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. This episode is going up on Saturday. And uh, I know in the previous episode for this, I had talked about snow. Oh my gosh, did we get a lot. And we got like 13 or 14 inches, so it was really nice. Of course it is. Some of it is melted now. Oh, okay, so this doesn't affect Kravana. What type is this, Ghost? We're ground types, so switching in here is a little dangerous. Spite? Okay. We're going to go with the Earthquake here. Okay, it doesn't have Levitate. That's good. Oh, it's not very effective, but we do one hit, thankfully. Corona does not have very good defense. So that's good for us. Okay, I think now it's safe to take the EXP share off of Shellshock, if I'm being honest. Tyranitar. Whoop, baby. Do we switch back into Roy? I think we do. Even though Tyranitar is typically a dark type. Uh, here he's not. Not that I know of, anyway. These fights are scary, I'll tell you that. Low kick, actually. Should do a good amount of damage. Considering Tyranitar weighs a lot. Peck is super effective. It's a little unfortunate. But it's okay. We got the heals, baby. We've got the heals. Chin Chow. We're fine. We're fine. Sky Uppercut here. Oh, we missed. Ugh. Don't like that. Egg Bomb. Shouldn't do a lot. Yeah, six damage. We're definitely going to be putting the EXP share on our Umbral Trace, or Monty, as though I like to say. Let's go ahead and take that off here. Oh, I need to actually go into the Pokemon. All right, let's take that off. And we will give that uh, to him. Okay, awesome. All right, well. Then we'll fight this trainer, and then switch and have our um, War Turtle in front here. It's a level 21 Wooper. Maybe I should have used Moonlight there. Oh. Dragon Claw. Okay, well, could have been worse, I guess. Yeah, we're going to use Moonlight here. It's a nice, easy... Whooper uh, statistically is not a very strong Pokemon, just because it is a. Uh, Jeez, oh, using Dig, huh? Interesting. Well, we're gonna use Vital Throw then. I wonder what type this Pokemon is at fighting. It's not used a Bug or Psychic type move, so just go for Sky Uppercut, I guess. Hopefully, we hit. We do. I believe this should KO. It does. Cool. Good stuff. Having Moonlight on Roy is really good. Monty's level 6. Gosh. What a tight Monty is, by the way. Holy. That's insane. That is actually insane. Actually insane. So as soon as we come through the door, boom, we get into a room. And this guy likes feisty kids like us who like to battle. This guy's all about the battles. Crocknaw. All right. Level 17. It's respectable. Let's go ahead with the Sky Uppercut here. We do hit. And it is super effective. That's going to be a one-hit KO for sure, which is nice. We like those. I feel like I'm having to relearn type matchups, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really not taking a mental note in my head. It's, 
if I tried to overwhelm myself with all that information, just wouldn't. It's not gonna happen. Uh, we are slower, so kind of feel like going with vital throw here is probably the best call, since we're already gonna be slower. Duck tree is a very fast Pokemon. All right, cool. Again, super effective. That's nice. Monty's level eight. Any new moves? Nope. Okay. Ladian? Oh, we'll go ahead and switch into Shell Shock here. I think that's an appropriate switch. All right. Let's see here. Oh, we'll go for Earthquake. Why not? Slash? Okay. It's a normal type move. Ladian does not have a very high attack stat. And it helps. Oh, my gosh. Super effective. Yes. Gosh, you love, you'll love to see it. You really do. You'll love to see it. Monty is level 9. That was a lot of experience from a Ladian. That was a lot of experience from a Ladian. We're going to snag this item right here. X defend. Hell yeah. It's not really uh, good right now, but it could be an item that we utilize later. Do we have anything that increases our ground type moves? Let's see. We've got bug. Promotes growth. We've got something for flying. We've got something for fire. Okay, we do not. That's fine. Maybe we'll find one. Maybe we won't. It's okay if we don't. Guy was a spinner. Guess we theoretically could have gotten that item before battling him, but that's okay. Kabuto. All right. Again, a Pokemon that is not a full of all form, so I like that. Doesn't affect Kabuto. Okay. This appears to be a flying type. Which is a little unfortunate for us. Switching to Roy or Donkey Kong? I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Let's look at these types here. Type Steel Ghost. Psychic Steel. Uh, let's bring in Night Night. I don't like doing it, but Kabuto is not the strongest. Oh, there's a Muddy Water. That's a little unfortunate. But it's okay because we're water type. Let's go for Hydro Cannon. Hopefully, we hit. And hopefully, Kabuto does not resist. I would hate this to be a water slash flying Pokemon. It appears as though it is. That was a lot of damage, though. Arrow Blast. Is that going to KO Night Night? I hope not. Ugh. I don't like that. That's unfortunate. We'll bring in Donkey Kong here so we know it's water and normal, so we don't have to worry about our Crush Claw not being effective. It is unfortunate. We are going to go have to... Oh, Rough Skin. <laughs> wow. It's scary. Mantine. Okay, we're going to switch right back into Shell Shock here. So the odds of this also being a flying Pokemon are not high. I'm hoping that it is not. Okay, cool. It is not. We do lose Night Night. Cody, I'm sorry about that. That's a crit. I feel like it's been a while since we've had one of those. I did want Night Night to make it through, but I'm sorry he did not. If that, if uh, Kabutops or Kabuto, if Kabuto would not have been a water type, Night Night would have definitely survived. Shadow Punch. Oh, that's actually a really good TM. Uh, so there might be a trainer there. I guess we can uh, fight it here so we don't have to come back. Uh, there's actually two trainers here. So really like that. I think I'd rather use a heal right now. I guess not. I guess we're okay. Cool. We're walking the plank if we lose. I'll tell you what, if we lose, the series is over, my guy. So I guess technically we would be walking the plank. Oh, <laughs> Metagross. Oh, wow. -y. What have we gotten ourselves into? Earthquake? Dragon Breath. Ugh. Oh, that's real good. That's real good. God, I hate this so much. We're bringing in Roy. We're bringing in Roy for a couple reasons. One, we have Moonlight, so if we get hit hard, we can recover. Outrage. That is a very high damaging move. 
Moonlight. Okay, so we know that we outspeed the Metagross. We'll take another Outrage, and then we will use Sky Uppercut, and hopefully KO the Metagross. Luckily, this is the only Pokemon this dude has, and Metagross actually became fatigued. Oh, could have used Low Kick there. Could have used Low Kick there. After two moves of Outrage, she became fatigued. So that's good for us. Dragon Breath. This also doesn't paralyze us. We're fine. Let's crit. We don't get paralyzed. We're going to go for Low Kick here. We definitely should KO. Metagross weighs a bunch. Okay, so now is an appropriate time to go use a heal on the ship. So that's what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to go do. Alright, cool. We will come back and fight that trainer. I was kind of hoping we could fight both of them. But before uh, we heal, we actually have to go release Night Night. Which is a little upsetting. I was kind of hoping that that guy would make it through. It was a water type. He's good. It's a special attack for a special type attacking Pokemon. Uh, however, that just simply was not the case. It was not in the cards. So we are going to release him here. Deposit. And he could have been our Surf user. We're going to withdraw Pokemon here. We'll go ahead and withdraw Alfred. Cool. Alright. We're going to go back to the SS hand and we're going to heal. But uh, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. You guys, honestly, every day, you guys absolutely make my day by leaving those comments, hitting that thumbs up button. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, and I just want to take this time to genuinely say thank you uh, to all of you, especially my patrons over at Patreon. You guys... Your support goes above and beyond. And, uh, you know, when I made the Patreon, I really didn't think that people would would be into it. But you guys are, and you guys are absolutely awesome. And, uh, honestly, guys, thank you so much. If you haven't hit that sub button, you watched all the way to the end, think about it. I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until next time, I will see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.